Hey, how you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me again. How you guys doing today? I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, and the shares. Thank you for the subscribes. For my new subscribers and my old subscribers, welcome to my channel. Um, to when you uh, get a notification, just hit that notification bell to know when I post, y'all. Yeah. So I'm back with this video because I just want to just put out out there that you know there are individuals karmic male and female who has caused traumatizing issues to divine feminines divine masculines regular people <laughs> you know other karmics have caused these issues to these people along with themselves, not understanding, or probably, you know, or probably just not giving a cur what they do to somebody else. There, listen, y'all, there are comics out here that, that has went to witch doctors and, um, went to, um, <clears throat> voodoo priestess, other high priestess, dark priestess, uh, dark high priestess, like, went to all these different people to have, like, different things done, Sometimes it could be of a man, or sometimes, you know, it could be just because, a, 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 you know, a person wants some type of power, status, clout, something. And what it, what, what gets me is the fact that these individuals who do stuff like this act like they don't understand what karma is. And once... Anything that they've done behind the scenes or behind somebody's back, whether it's pay a practitioner to do something to another person, once it is found out about, the work, all the work, all the toil and labor that they put in trying to ruin another person's life or um, <clears throat> bring harm to another person, even, even murder, even kill a child, it was... Um, it stopped. Like it, once it was found out about, it was you know the, the whatever magic was sent to the person that you were trying to harm, or it didn't work anymore. You know, and that's where we are right now in this time. Um, you still got karmic individuals still trying to play divine. Like you're not divine. You're absolutely karmic if you if you're using dark magic or black magic or going to practitioners to have things done to other people to harm them or anything in their life. If you're doing any type of death spells, putting people names in jars, like going to grave sites and all that different type of stuff. When I tell you I got so many different downloads of people literally going to grave sites, you got X um Ex lovers, ex uh, karmic, or ex lovers. I'm gonna just say, and, and they are karmic, okay? That's why they're exes. But you got ex lovers like literally trying to show off abundances that they stole, not understanding and knowing that a high priestess and a and a prophetess is someone who actually is divine would know if it's an illusion or not. I'm just saying, like, come on, like, all your fool works, <clears throat> all the work that you put in, all the, all the, 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 like I said, the toil, the labor, the, 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 the mind buckling, the, the, the confusion spells, like, all of that stuff is out the window. We are in a time and a place where we definitely understand who, what, where, why. You know, and Kwamis know, you know if you're Kwamik or not. You know if you are. And, div and divine, uh, divine people, divine feminines or masculines know if they're divine or not. You know. It's just, a, it's a standard in this situation. And I don't think, Kwamis don't understand the standard. They don't care for the standard. 
And even if they did care for the standard, look what they would use and look, look what they would use and look how they would make the things that they want to happen, happen. That's another thing we have to pay attention to. But at the end of the day, you know, what's for you is for you. What God says is for you is for you. Okay. And like I said, the karmic still try to do work only not, not because, not because, um, they, they want you to be divine collective. They want you to be under illusion and confused, but we understand now that that's not working on the divine. It's not working on the collective. We can see everything that they're doing. What it is, what it is doing now, it's they're sin, the, the karmics who's projecting confusion or, you know, when, okay, so when the divine feminine feels confused or feels discombobulated, understand that it's a projection coming from the karmics who's sending it. It ain't your energy. Because you know who the most high is. You 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 already understand, you know, what's going on and how long it's been going on and everything that's been done to you. You already understand that at this point. Understand if you feel any confusion or any type of you know it's not your energy. You know that it's coming from another place. And that's coming from their karmic. That's projecting it. The thing about it is these karmics don't understand that they're the ones that's under the illusion. Thinking the nonsense that they keep doing works. It don't. <laughs> that's what makes it so bad. Like, it's like, it don't. You know. And everything that a karmic that said like it's blocked and we already know that if any of any of the divine or anybody in the collective feel some type of way the collective knows that they're that's not their energy collective knows what their energy feels like you know so um i just wanted to get out here and tell y'all that because it's you know it's important it's important because even after this eclipse even after this um you know after this moon after after everything that is going on you still got karmics out here doing the same things not understanding you literally are digging a hole for yourself you, deeper and deeper. You know, you're digging this hole for yourself deeper and deeper. You're confused. You don't even understand the difference between sane and insanity. So, I'm just telling you, listen. When I was at the plantation, I was told. That you are the most sane person in this building. And I am. I am. I am the most sane person that anybody will ever meet. I mean, like I said, I told you in my videos before. When I was younger, people used to literally try to call me crazy. <laughs> they tried it. But... I knew I wasn't crazy, you know. I and and the Most High let me know, we, you're not crazy. I know I'm not crazy, but whatever makes the comic feel better, I guess. Nine thirty-three on my time. A two, three, four, five on my clock. Two, three, four, five. Signs of synchronicities, yeah. I see them all the time. 10, 10, 3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 5. The divine is awakened. The divine has 
opened up his do- their doors to help and assist the earthly beings who understand that they exist. They 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 have they're here to help. They're here to bring order. They're here to bring peace. That's why this her. We're here to bring order. And that's all you really want is things to be in order. Things to be right. Things to be the way they're supposed to be. You know, whether people want to believe it or not, everybody, the whole world, has been under heavy manipulation. Heavy manipulation for years. Heavy mental manipulation. Heavy spiritual manipulation. Okay? Physical manipulation. Nose itching, y'all. <laughs> so, it's just like... That time of the manip- of the manipulation and that time of the secrecy and that time of 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 being ignored and that time of your spell work is over and it's dead. It's over. So, you know, I just got on here to tell y'all that. Like, you need to just, you know, go with that. You can still, you still have time to heal. You still have time to, you know, get yourself together. You still have time to let old situations go. You still have time to let old situations be and move forward in your life. Let me tell you something. You can't move forward in your life trying to make somebody else mad. You can't move forward in your life uh, for the wrong reasons. You have to be able to move forward in life to fulfill purpose. Okay? You have to be able to move forward in your life to, to, to fulfill the prophecies. We even know the prophecies are being fulfilled anyway. I'm just saying that, you know, it's important. Don't try to move forward just because you want to make somebody jealous. Don't do that. That's that's crazy. That, that don't even make sense. That means you're not healed. What it is, <laughs> it's a, if you're not able to let certain individuals go, you watching these people, you watch people move on with their life and basically they walking all over you. That's when you get back. You sit back and say, I need to love myself. Love me. I got to love me. This nigga don't love me. This bitch don't love me. I'm going to love me. It's plenty of Adams. It's plenty of Eves. It's plenty of somebody for somebody. Okay? But when you heal... From within, when you go within and you heal yourself and you, God will send you that person that you're supposed to be with. But you have to be 1353 on my timer. You have to go within yourself and deal with yourself and deal with who you are so the right person can come to you when it's time. Otherwise, let these people that clearly say they don't want you, that clearly let you know to your face they don't want you, that's clearly playing games with you mentally, let them go. Let them go. No, especially females. They got, you know, you got narcissistic men that have females literally waiting on them to, 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 to sow their royal oats. No, he's not sowing his royal oats. He's, ta- he's, he's tagging you along. Making, making you bitter and bitter and more bitter. 
to where you turn around and do stupid shit that, 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 that in turn brings you karmic debt. And you paying more karmic debt off than, than healing yourself from the damage some nigga done done. Let these niggas go, girl. Let them go, girl. Let them go. Let them go. No good. He turned your motherfucking life up. Turn your heart up. Turn your brain up mentally. Having you literally delusional. That's not the proper way to live. That's not the proper way to be. Okay, so I was just, I'm just saying, you know, we at a time where all, all that, all that manipulation and spell work and all that bullshit is dead, is gone, is in, in the water, is drowned up. Like if you, we are in a, a season where everybody moves forward, wherever you know they may be going, but it's time to move forward. It's time to. Go, not be stuck in the past and, and, and trapped. That's what most people want you to be, but guess what? There's no room in the past for me. Okay? There's no room there. So, just want you to go ahead and understand. And plus, too, yeah, you're going to have people that want to keep you in that, in, in, back, you know, stuck in, in the past, but... The past is just what it is, the past. No one lives in the past. The past is the past. You can't live there. It's time to move forward, to do better, to live better, to know better, to understand better, to heal yourself, to heal, to be better, to heal, to, to bring the right people around you. So, I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know that, like, <laughs> ain't nothing in the past for me. You know what I'm saying? And whoever is in the past that knew me, I've moved forward. And whatever direction you headed or, you know, wherever you want to go, this is my last message to you. Whatever direction you're headed or whatever direction, you know, you, you want to go in. Have fun with that. But I'm healed and I'm moving forward. So 2353 on my timer. I mean on my clock. Bye.